what's going on guys true here bring you another haul video if you want to call it that it's been a hot minute since i have done one of these but um yeah i'm doing a haul video for ichiban Khan. not much of a haul uh definitely good stuff though uh, a good day uh, it was a three-day thing we only went to one day which was saturday and so um we definitely enjoyed it uh, me and the wife we went as you guys saw in the vlog so very good stuff in terms of interactions um we were there to meet two people uh i know it may not see much but it was definitely fun to see these guys because of what they're currently in i did have already the pleasure of meeting the others that were there and i didn't feel like i had to meet them again i did want to talk to one person but i didn't do it and that was Chris Patton. I will go ahead and say that. Uh, some of you may or may not know who he is. Uh, he is the voice actor for um, Turles in the Dragon Ball franchise. And he's also the voice of Sosuke Sagara, one of my all-time favorite characters from an anime and from Full Metal Panic. Um, I was going to ask him, and I'm hoping maybe, maybe if he ever watches this, I, I was, I was going to ask him, does he think that there's going to be a final season for Full Metal Panic, if that was ever going to happen, but I don't think he may even know, or if he's even excited for that, you know, I, you know how I'm saying it out loud, I honestly should have actually asked him that question, but rest assured, if I do see him and there is no information about Full Metal Panic, I will ask him that question, but anyway guys, let's get to this video, and if you guys like this stuff, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, it really does help out, and I really would appreciate it, and go check out the main channel, it really does, like I said, mean the world to me for you guys to check out these videos. But let's go ahead and go and get to the first one. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show off the, the our signed Funkos. Uh, you know, we as tradition, we like having our Funkos signed when we get to meet these people. We have the Mr. Compress uh, signature right here uh, to both me and my wife. We put her name in there, and he said, for the arm. And he... Uh, put his name on there and even put quirk compressed so i thought that was really cool i'm really glad that he was able to do that kent williams is the voice and i gotta say he was honestly a real down-to-earth chill guy um i met i mean I, I got to know him voice wise from dragon ball i really loved him as supreme kai a funko for him is not out yet in fact they're going to release one after you know like maybe in the next month or so it's gonna be called shin i'm like yes that is his name but the title is supreme kai why couldn't you have just gone with that i would have preferred you guys to do that but whatever in the end the funko is coming out though he's also the voice of elder kai which is awesome and um overall i just think he's a great dude he's just really sweet really nice and you know it was a pleasure to meet him you know and i really appreciate that so that was our experience with Kent. Uh, our next experience is with John Swayze. He's also the voice of All for One. And if you guys are watching the anime currently, you guys will know that he plays a big role. Mr. Compress also is playing a big role in My Hero Academia right now. But he definitely is a great villain. I love his villain. The voice for him works. It suits him. The sub and the dub work very well for him. I think John Swayze was a good pick. He's also the voice of Dodoria and Dragon Ball. So, you know, some OG Dragon Ball voices were here. Now, I was glad to talk to him. We didn't take a picture with him. We did take a picture with Kent. Um, just those extra $30, you know. You know, it wasn't really worth it. But, hey, but he's definitely not putting him down or anything. Definitely a great dude. He just seemed kind of chill as well. He also said that he had family out here in the state of North Carolina. So it was really cool that he can relate to the state on that level. And, you know, I also want to share the signature that he has for here for us, where is, where is your smile now? Which that was, if you guys know, that quote was from the final battle with... Um, all Might, which was great, and he also has symbol of evil, which you know he is in fact. I also didn't say you know to the for the arm that was what Mr. Compress actually said to Overhaul, which I thought that was really badass at the time when he said that to him. So those two were the ones that were there. I really really liked what 
the, the interactions we had with those guys. In fact, uh, uh, John Swayze even shared a little quick story to us and a few others that were there where he actually, um, I forgot what brought to the conversation. Oh, it was a random person, what appeared to be random, just kind of showed up and took the picture for the couple in front of us. Well, but in reality, that person was a, a friend of theirs, and they take the picture. And he was like, well, that kind of reminds me of a story where I went to a flea market with my wife, and I saw a stool over there, and <laughs> I asked the guys, like, hey, how much for the stool? He looked at the stool and said, oh, five bucks, and he sold it to me. I got the stool, and now that I think about it, well, as I was leaving, I'm like, I got the stool, but I don't even know if you worked there. <laughs> So, yeah, it's kind of funny. Sometimes people were just standing there. I'm sure people would do that in real life, but I've never encountered that. So I think that was kind of a funny little story that he shared with us. Uh, other people that were there, other than Chris Pratt and that I've mentioned, uh, was Cynthia Krantz, uh, voice of Chi-Chi, uh, and as well as Linda Young. She was also there. And, I, you know, I've met them. I, I really was glad that I was able to meet them, but I didn't have a reason to meet them again. Uh, definitely, though, it was a, a different kind of con because I don't know if this is what Ichiban is doing or if the, this company is doing. They're actually, they had time slots, which I thought that was kind of cool. They're a little bit different than what I'm used to. Like, I'm used to waiting in lines. I mean, I'm not saying that any of these lines were exceedingly long, but it was kind of cool because, you know, you could kind of mingle around and then you can be able to meet your people, which I thought that was kind of cool. So when we went there, we did have a time slot. We did have a little bit of a wait, but nothing terribly bad. So interesting concept. I don't think that other cons that we are going this year are going to implement that. If they do, then interesting. I don't know if it's a good idea or a bad idea. If it's a smaller con, I could see that working. But if you have a huge convention, I don't know if that's a great idea. But then again, you know, the weights and lines are different. You have VIP, those that are regular. Yeah. All that gets kind of confusing and hazy. So it's a process that I think conventions will probably never ever actually perfect because of the way it is. So I don't I don't think that that's going to be something great. But for a small convention such as this one, it did work. I did like it though. I did I did enjoy seeing that. So definitely great stuff. We do have another convention lined up closer to the end of the month. So we will be sharing where that is once we have a vlog going. I don't want to share that yet. But definitely great to see a lot of people uh, there going to conventions again. It was fun. Um, you know, we see a lot of cosplayers. It was fun. So great stuff. But let's go ahead and get into what we did get from the convention. We didn't get much, so bear with me here, guys. One of the things I do want to share that we have we have gotten was these two right here. Now, what do you think? You guys are probably thinking, what in the world is this? You know, they're they're sodas, right? Well, yeah, they are. They're sparkling drinks. Um, the funny thing is that they're they are uh, you know Sailor Moon. This is Sailor Neptune and Sailor Uranus. And so, my wife and I got one. She got this one. I got this one. She is my favorite of all of all the. Um, uh, Sailor Scouts, she is my favorite, aside from Mars. Sorry, not Mars, uh, Jupiter. But uh, yes, I, I'm a fan of Sailor Moon. So we got these because, like, well, we know these two are together, firstly. And secondly, because, you know, it was cool. And we're not going to open these because we're just going to collect them. She she and I are like kind of like that sometimes. The crazy thing about it is that this soda is the most expensive soda I've ever bought. Because this is a $10 soda per each, like each. And I was like, we were hesitant, all right? We were hesitant. But we ended up getting it anyway because we're like, we'd never see these. We're going to go ahead and do it. We spent $20 <laughs> on this thing, which, again, probably will never do again. But it was cool to collect them, and we'll put that in our collection. Um, we also went to this little um, stand where they actually were giving out free books. Now, I've been to the stand before, and they've actually had manga before. Unfortunately, they didn't have any. I don't know if they did maybe on Thursday or Friday, but I, we didn't go those days. So we went Saturday, and we actually I actually found one thing that I thought was interesting. Obviously, I got one book, and that book being this one, I thought it was really cool. It's a library book, but it is a Darth Vader comic. I thought that was really, really cool because, honestly, this is part of the series of the Darth Vader comics, that I don't have, you know, 
This is the third installment, and I thought, wow, this is a heck of a great, great deal. Like normally, like like the price tag is still on it, like twenty dollars. So really, I think this was a great idea to like get, and so I'm gonna keep this. I'm actually gonna read it because I'm like I said, I'm a huge fan. I know what happens in this comic, and I've actually on the main channel. You know, you guys sometimes know I do like manga hauls, but I actually did a little haul uh, on my haul. I actually included sorry i included the uh my darth maul comic uh, i'm a i'm a huge darth maul fan for those that may or may not know i'm a huge huge fan and speaking of marvel the wife actually grabbed one for herself as well because why not she grabbed a marvel wolverine one for herself she is a big wolverine fan um and you know with the announcement of hugh jackman returning you know definitely thought it was really cool to have you know a comic of him so really cool to have that and again it was free so could not say no to that and lastly the only other thing that we got was something that the wife wanted because of, for her collection and it even has her own its own little bag i'm gonna go ahead and give them a little bit of spotlight here the evergreen burrow uh handcrafted geekery i thought that was a really cool little bag they even have a little sticker of their like what they represent and i thought that was cool you know real cool stuff but we have two here i'll show you individually this one the wife really wanted to have and this one's called get lit and i think this is like crochet or hand stitching i'm not quite sure what it is but this is the one she really is into books she has a whole library up if you ever wanted to one day i will show off the library that she has but uh definitely thought this was cool uh, she really likes this kind of stuff and then lastly we have this one right here which she's also a huge fan of witches she has a resting witch face. I thought this was kind of funny. This is more to her, obviously. Uh, she couldn't be here with me today to make this video do work. So I figured I'd do this. But that is all we've got for this convention. Like I said, it was fun to be able to go to a convention. Uh, you guys saw the vlog, too. If you haven't, go check it out. We also did a... Um, we went to the, the little arcade. We'd never gotten to do that. So I'm glad that that's something that I, I didn't get a chance to talk to with the, my, uh, within the vlog. I, it kind of, that we ended the vlog by, you know, eating snacks and that was kind of it. You know, at that point we're like, eh, there ain't much else to do. Let's, let's, let's go. So, so we went home after that. So I do apologize for kind of abruptly ending it. So for anyone that did watch it. So definitely though, I, I really, I was glad this was definitely a good one. Um. A good day convention we have i want to say at least mm, three or four coming up in the next three months i think that we're going to be going to and i think the the next one is going to be a big one for us um like i said it's going to be a couple weeks so excited excited for that so guys, thank you so much. If you guys did enjoy this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you were at that convention too, let me know. I would love to know your experience. Share your thoughts. You know, is there something that I may have missed? Or maybe you spotted me. I don't know. Uh, there was a ton of people. A ton, a ton of people. Uh, parking was an issue. Not personally for us because we don't mind the walk. And that was one thing that I will say real quickly. There was a lot of people trying to park where the hotels were at because... So, for those that may or may not know, the this hotel, or this convention center where it was at, they had it... Okay, so let's just say this is a hotel, right? And there's a huge little... Well, I don't want to say a huge road, but there's a good portion of the road right here where there's nothing there. And you can actually go and, you know, park your car on the side of the road. No big deal. But people were trying to get all into, like, even in the grass. People were trying to get into the hotel parking spots. There was a few other hotels that were up there, and they were kind of uphill. People were parking on the uphill side of the thing. People were parking in the parking lot of those other hotels. And it was just kind of like people's cars were getting towed. And I didn't personally see it, but I heard it through, like, the group that I'm part of. And I can actually see that people's cars were being towed. People were unhappy about that. Guys, there was, but okay, so the hotel is right here, the little road is right here. There was on this other side right here where my other hand is at, there was an overfull parking, which is where we went, which is across the road. And people were parking there, but a lot of people weren't either. So it's like, it was free. All you had to do was walk a little bit. Yes, it was cold and a bit breezy, 
but I think you could have been okay. So for those people that got, you know, their car towed, let's think about it a little smarter, okay? I mean, there's really no reason for people's cars to be towed at a convention because you guys couldn't know where to park. So next time, guys, don't, don't do that. You know, just, just don't do that. Just I hope it's a lesson learned and just realize it's not worth it, you know? So if, if there's parking designated for people that are actually staying there, respect it, you know? Walk a little bit. You know, I've I've gone to conventions where you have had to pay to be in a good spot. All right. So where even the free parking wasn't even that bad. So good stuff, though. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you guys have, leave a like, comment below your thoughts. And again, take care of yourselves. Most importantly, let's try to make this year the best that we can. So, guys, thank you. And I'll catch you all later.